Now, when you examine the record, you'll find the McCahys were pretty fair athletes. But when you look at it as a collective body of work, you'll see that we have made a contribution to the Vegas sports scene. For example, this took some research, by the way. In Coach Malone's 38 seasons at Vegas, there was a McCahy playing for 26 of those seasons. Coach Malone had 280 wins during his tenure at Baden, and the McCahey was a part of 218 of those wins. If you do the math, it's pretty close to 80%. Between football, baseball, and golf, a McCahey has played in six state championship games. It's quite a testament. Now, here's a tidbit of trivia for you in case you find yourself on Jeopardy one day. My brother Bill was a freshman in 1967, which was Coach Malone's first program at Baden. Chris, who was John and Ken's son, he was a senior in 2003, which was Coach Malone's last season. We call that interesting bookends, the first and the last. My brother Vinny, number 14 of the kids, he has all the bragging rights in the family. He was on a team that won the state championship in 1990 that beat Richfield in the fabled Massillon Stadium. And it is a fabled Massillon Stadium. Now, while Vinny may have the ring, he will tell you privately he attributes his success to the tutelage of his brothers. No question. Now, I want to talk a little bit about my brothers and sisters. So, I know I'm the last on the podium, but when you invite somebody with this many kids, you got to be patient. I'm just going to take a little time because i got a few people to talk about. I'm not sure many athletes could do what my brother Bill did. He was actually a pretty good linebacker in football, and he played golf for three years. There aren't too many guys that take that route. Linebacker and golf, it's one of those things you just don't hear in a sentence very often. But he did that. In fact, his junior year, they made it to the state finals. They got beat. They ended up being the state runner-ups in the state golf tournament. He's a fine amateur golfer today, as long as his back is up. Seems to be a little tough for me. I happen to play football and baseball at Baden, but my real claim to fame was getting married to my wife Becky and having a daughter named Kelly, who again was the first McCahey to ever score a point against a Baden team. <laughs> Kelly played soccer and basketball at uh, Springville High School. My brother Kevin played freshman football for the Rams, but he is now he has now assumed the role of the family historian and the resident genealogist. Kevin also spent some time at Baden in various teaching roles. My sister Elaine is married to Dave Dijon. Their son Sammy is a 2007 graduate. Sammy played a little football and he also was on the bowling team. My brother John played football and ran track at Baden. His bride, Kim, she also ran track. And they are a Baden merger. And they have sent their three children, John, Molly, and Chris, to Baden as well. Their son John was a two-way starter and was co-captain of football. He was also a two-time All-GCL. Chris played four years of football as a freshman, and as a freshman he had a chance to play in the state playoff game. He also had a very good baseball career as he was a member of the 2005 state runner-up team. Molly was a four-year soccer player and swimmer. She earned all Ohio Southwest and GCL academic honors and was the recipient of the great leadership award for athletes. Kate was in the class of 1978. She's married to Scott Henry. Their daughter, Bridget, played softball at Wright State University and had an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament twice. Their son, Luke, also played baseball and basketball at Taft. Or excuse me, Hamilton not. Old habits are hard to lose. <laughs> My brother, Dan, he played football for four years. I always thought he was among the smallest yet the fastest pulling guards to ever play for the Rams. However, when you're trying to pull and get out in front of Tony Farkas, that, that's a feat unto itself. Dan and his wife Lynn have two girls, Gracie and Emma, who are at St. Peter's today, so hopefully the baby legacy will continue. My sister Patty was a member of the girls' basketball team, ran track, and played tennis. She's married to Brian Barlow. They have three children. They live in Texas. Her husband Brian, by the way, was recently inducted into the Butler County Hall of Fame. Their daughter Erin was a member of the Capel High School team, that recently won the Texas State Soccer Championship. Sarah and Ryan, her other two kids, are also very accomplished athletes. Our brother Joe played football and was a co-captain and two-way starter his senior year here at Baden. He was named first-team All-Butler County linebacker in 1981 and 82. 
Joe's married to the former Lisa Wilna, and their daughter Hannah also attended Baden, and Hannah played softball, golf, and basketball. Sarah played volleyball for four years. She and her husband Joe Mezzer live in Charlotte with their four children. Joe Mezzer is a sports writer who covers NASCAR for Turner Sports. So he's at Martinsville today. Sports played a very active role in the family. My sister Sheila, who could not make it tonight, is also a volleyball player. She's married to Greg Bowen, and they live in Connecticut. They have two very active boys, and they are introducing the family to two new sports we're unfamiliar with, lacrosse and ice hockey. Our brother Mark was a very good pass-catching man for the Rams. In fact, he led the team in receiving his senior year. He continues to follow the Rams, along with the success of his old classmate, Coach Bill Tenor. My sister Ann was the family member that specialized in individual sports. Not long ago, she completed the 26-mile Flying Pig Marathon and continues to work on her golf game. My brother Vinny, of course, played football four years at Baden and had much success. He was on the 89 state runner-up team and he was a member of the state championship team in 1990. Wow, that's a lot of people to talk about. <laughs> of all the gifts our mom and dad gave us, the most valuable was the gift of our faith. They led their faith every day. They led by example. They understood the rich tradition of the Catholic Church. They also understood the value of a Baden education.